what is going on guys? Here we have my JZX90. Um, it's definitely lost, but not forgotten. To be honest, I haven't really done much with this car in a while because I kind of messed up. I never even talked about it because it's so stupid and you're not even going to believe me, but it's sad. So over here you can see the wrap is peeled off and that's because I had to bring the car to the frame machine because when we were at Pocono Raceway with the Clean Culture Boys and Jimmy, we all rented an Airbnb and we raced back to the house. It was fun. It was a good time and I was like, yeah, I'm first. I get like the best VIP parking and what I do, Matt? Okay. Tell him. I'm backed into the house. I backed into the Airbnb like actually like it did it right here. You can see the taillights all gone and cracked It's okay because we have brand new taillights in here. I got them from Yahoo auctions and stuff, but dude I was absolutely devastated like I never got to actually drive this car We dropped it off the wrap although the wrap never got finished and he was supposed to actually take the car back and everything And he was supposed to come here and finish the job We had to end up taking it off anyways, but I contacted and I was like yo like any chance like since you have to come back anyways can you um, wrap the quarter? He never got back to me. So $2,000 on a 80% wrap job, pretty good. Love working with people that wrap. Anyways, we brought it to the frame machine. The guy's name is Sean. This dude does wonders. If you guys are in the Connecticut area, I mean, definitely hit this guy up and see if he can help you out because this thing, it was kind of bent in. The whole quarter was dented and he was able to kind of just release all of the pressure and stuff. The only bummer is we had to take the wrap off, but I slowly want to start getting this car back together. Silver Suspension, they were kind enough to sponsor the channel. Again, they sponsored um, some coilovers for my E36 and they, oh jeez, and they ride absolutely amazing. So I hit them up, I was like, hey guys, I want to start doing st stuff with the JZX slowly. Um, first step is obviously coilovers because we stole the VSKFs for the 350Z and Honestly, the 350Z just looks so good that I can't I can't take them off. So we have these gross wheels on here, but we just got some new tires mounted on my 57 DRs. Those were for the 370Z, but I also have these work motions and they are so wide and so big they don't fit any car I have other than the Z. They actually fit pretty good. Oh, they look great. I'm not a big black wheel guy, but... But the green and black? Green, yeah, it looks good. It looks pretty good. Give you guys a little update on this car. Uh, to be honest, the past, what, four days have been an absolute disaster. Terrible. Everything that could go wrong has gone wrong. It will continue <laughs> to probably go wrong. It's, it's actually insane. Like, I can't even begin to describe how ridiculous some of these scenarios were, but it doesn't matter. We tried to film, and every time we tried to make a video, things just weren't working out, so I kind of just gave up and considered everything a wash. But... Long story short, we've been working on the Z. I finally got a good scan tool that I can plug into the Z and like kind of see where the timing is and everything. And the timing at idle, what was it? It was 30? 30 degrees. It was 36 idle. degrees advanced. and then when we, yeah, 36 degrees advanced. And then when you revved it to 2K, it was at like 70. I remember, after I saw that, I remember I got this thing tuned from some kid at OSW when we were at the Inventational. And ever since then, the car, has been just acting so crazy, going into limp mode. Not saying it's his fault, obviously. We need to find someone with a rev up license so they can actually tune this thing back to stock. The car has always been fine until I got it tuned. Once again, even if it was the tune, it's not the kid's fault. Like he just was trying to help me out. He wanted to do some cool stuff. But I mean, we've looked at everything in this car and the fact that this car is advanced 36 at idle is insane. And if you rev it just a little bit, it's like 60 or 70. So that's gonna be the next thing on the list for this because <laughs> to be honest, I've just kind of run out of options. I've been talking to a couple people. A couple people are telling me it's the oil galleries and although I did hear them out and it does make sense what they're saying like I don't have low, low oil pressure like I read all about like the symptoms and stuff of bad oil galleries and I just don't have any of those symptoms but I don't know I'd rather try to take the tune off and not spend a thousand dollars and doing a new water pump timing chain all of that stuff and two days worth of work and um, try to just get this thing tuned back to stock because realistically I talked to a couple tuners as well like tuning these stock like you get like three or four horsepower out of them anyways the reason why people like tuning these is people like pops and bangs and flames and whatever don't care about that so we're gonna put this thing back to stock and hopefully finally just finally the z will be done i'm so sick of this car dude how good was it 
It was a great car. I wanted it, I wanted it at one point. It was like the best drift car. One of the best drift cars I've ever had. Like I've advanced my driving so much in this car and like now it's just a piece of shit and it's driving me nuts. But you know, we're gonna figure it out one day. It's not today, it's not tomorrow, but we're gonna figure it out one day. I'm gonna stop talking. We're gonna actually do the coilovers at my buddy Devin shop. It is freezing outside today and uh, I'd rather work at Devin shop and he's got nothing going on. So we're gonna go to the car wash, clean off the car because it's a bit dusty and then we're gonna go to Devon shop get the coilovers on and see and what she looks like with the new wheels, wheels. yeah no I told them because oh. that's that's how the Z started yeah okay. and then I went into the Z ramp of why I hate my life yeah I'd be, be nice guys he's ranting out the Z because it's absolutely murdering him <laughs> I, all I hear is about the Z maybe it's this maybe it's that it's honestly driving me insane yeah we're trying I'm to gonna lose everything. my soul on yeah. this car but anyways all right let's go boys well here are the old coilovers right here surprisingly enough the hardest part was to actually get the top hats out from like the car because they were just so seized on there we actually had to for the backs we had to shake them like crazy and then the fronts we actually had to hammer down straight for them to actually um break loose but you can see these things they're just so crusty and old they're honestly great coilovers when they're new but i mean every coilover gets old but these new neo maxes are absolutely beautiful. We already adjusted them. We adjusted them exactly how the HKS ones were because I liked the ride height and to be honest, it was kind of rubbing just a little bit. So I think if we get a different tire size and everything, this ride height will be absolutely perfect. It's got 24 levels of dampening. So these things are super nice. We're gonna go ahead, we're gonna throw these things in right now, put the 57 DRs on and see what this thing looks like. Also, Devin's buddy, he came here a couple hours ago. He looked at the quarter panel. He's gonna be wrapping this on Monday, so at least this thing will be freshly wrapped and um, one color again, because this, it kind of just makes the car look like it's total. Yeah. And I don't love the way it looks. Even though I was driving around town today, three people were like. Nice car. <laughs> and which is so funny, because we have those junk wheels on it and we got no wrap on the quarter panel, so I mean, I guess it'll look even fresher with the new wheels and the wrapped quarter. So with that being said, let's get these new Neo Maxes in and check it out. The fucking trunk hood, the trunk prop. This is a car guy on a Thursday night. Yeah. And this is their girlfriend. <laughs> All right, boys. Well, the coilovers we just got installed. It was super easy. I love old Japanese cars because they're just so easy to take apart and put back together. It was literally six bolts minus the top hat bolts. So um, now we can actually put the wheels on. I don't know if the tires are going to fit. Um, I have two 25s on the way, these are two 35s. It's, it's gonna be close. There's two 6.5s in the rear because if you remember, these are actually for the 370Z. So we just grab these because these wheels are gonna be the new home for the JZX because those work emotions just fit perfect on the 370Z. So. Grand lights ain't so light. I know. It's kind of ironic, huh? Mm hmm. It's gonna look sick, though. It's gonna look real adult. Like the green and silver will look perfect. Even though the green and chrome, it look, hit different. Yeah. But I don't know. I kind of like how the Z looks with the VSKFs compared to this. You know? I think these fit the car better. The these, VSKFs are hot. But. They're 350Z hot. Yeah. So we're going to go ahead. We're going to put all, um, we're not going to put all the lug nuts on yet. Because to be honest, I don't know if this is going to drive out of here like this. But um, we'll put some lug nuts on. We'll lower it and see what it looks like. These are A lot of fucking tires show. The fronts are gonna fit. You think so? Yeah. Yeah, with the camber. Not the fucking rears. <sighs> Dang, though. Come on. Yeah, the purple. That looks good. That with the control arms or whatever. The 
<laughs> that you'll never see. Yeah. <laughs> Dang, I really like the look of these wheels on this. Here we go. Is it already rubbing? No, somewhere near. What do you mean nowhere near? No, it's it's not like a in there. You're nowhere near. You gotta slam this bitch a little more. Oh wow. I guess it was kind of monster trucking a little, huh? Yeah. You get that track to that. Well, you have it for well, you've never 18. Heard that monster trucking? <laughs> She'll settle. Well, it'll settle a little bit, but it's not going to settle a whole inch. Yeah. You're not going to rub. No, we're definitely not going to rub for sure. Oh my god, it's got it. So good with these wheels. It's a little bit pokey. You need a little bit more. It's not very flush. I think the camber plates are maxed out. Oh, I bet you vibe. Yeah, I'm not going for the Ebisu 5. Not with this car. We have, I haven't said this yet, but we do have an Ebisu car for this year, which I'm really excited about. But that's another time. That's another story for another time. Yeah, no, I guess we can leave the wheels on it because it's definitely not going to rub. We need more camber in the front for sure. Yeah. Maybe they're not maxed out completely. Maybe in the rear as well. <laughs> it's poking so much. It's got so much poke. It's actually kind of bothering me. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like the Civic. Don't. Say that. <laughs> it looks like this. Don't don't say that. <laughs> Put a clip of the Civic right oh, now. I got you. Don't say that. <laughs> Those were like twelve inches wide. Dude, Those dude. were like the most ignorant things ever. The, the thumbnail was ignorant, bro. Oh. I hate it. No, dude, it looks like I think the wheels thing. look good, but it's the fitment, fitment sucks. She looks like a Camry. Yeah. Dude, chill. Yeah, I guess these are kind of Camrys, right? These are JDM Camrys. We have to Avalons. see if the camber plates are maxed out all the way. Regardless, well, I don't know. The thirty-five's kind of the two thirty-five's kind of fit good. Yeah. Honestly, if you go like an inch lower, and if we can get a little more camber, I think it'll be fine. You get overs. Why not just nah, nah, no overs. We're not doing that. <laughs> you're gonna put the VSKFs back on this thing. Nah, the, those found a home. Yeah, they're... they look too good. Those are my drift wheels now. The the VSKFs. <laughs> I was trying to crash into Mark. If I need to see it without the white. Yeah. It's killing me. White. I mean, it already looks way better now. <laughs> yeah. Now that we have a green car over here. Hmm. It'll be all one color on Monday. It looks like a taxi. Dude, Civic Camry Taxi, make up your fucking Ooh, mind. Yeah, Honestly, putting a taxi symbol on the top wouldn't look that bad. Like a JDM taxi? Yeah, like that would actually Japanese be pretty. I'm sure they use these as taxis in Japan. Dude, I don't right? think... Is it shut? No, I got the shut before, I remember. Honestly, Bailey's the only guy that can shut that hood. Dude, it looks so abyssy in the front. Yeah. Yeah, my hood latch is broken. But we're going to Japan this year, so... Honestly, when we go to Japan, I'm going to try to find a bunch of trinkets for this car. See how much we can fit into our backpacks? Oh, we'll just buy every, all the suitcases we need. Suitcase. That's what I did last time I went to Tokyo. I had a suitcase full of knickknacks. Yeah. Because I'm just a, a knickknacker, you know? <laughs> What? It's, it's gonna clear, dude. You're good. Keep going. Yeah, dude. I knew we lowered it. Close the garage door on it. Woo! The battery's dead because we never drive the car, so we have to leave the jump pack on it. But the car actually runs and drives actually really well, surprisingly. All right, so the JZX is gonna be sitting here until Monday because the dude's gonna come and wrap this panel and then we can actually put the taillights on and stuff. There's no point of putting the taillights on now due to obviously he's gonna have to take it off again. But I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna get different tires set up. Uh, Matt made a little mistake today, hey? Eh? Yeah, I put the wrong tires <laughs> on the wrong wheel. So you didn't check. These, so these are actually nines in the back and those are nine and a halfs in the front. So once we actually get the proper tire set up, we'll put the nine and a halfs in the back and the nines in the front. And I think it'll be a perfect fit in it. Well, not perfect, but it'll, it'll be, be much better. Better. It won't be Civic Camry Ebisu spec. Yeah. You know? So, once you do that, it'll look a lot better, because right now, 
I knew there was something up. I was looking at this, I was like, dude, no way. Like, this is, this belongs to be crashed in episode. Well, aloha, boys. Uh, we're fast forwarding to Hawaii. We're doing a quick pit stop. We had a layover and it's an overnight layover, so we're trying to make it the best of it. We found this lagoon right here. We got David here, Natalie's here, Matt's behind the camera. He just won the award of breaking my favorite camera. <laughs> he pulled it out and he was like, what, what? And he dropped oh, it. Oh yeah, let's just fucking. I mean, it's, it's broken, it's over. So, uh... yeah, the, the vlog camera's out of commission, but we got the iPhone still. Um, yeah. You guys probably have no idea what's going on and that's all right, we'll explain it, but. Um, we only have about 20 minutes of daylight left, so I'm gonna enjoy the lagoon. Aloha. How do you say aloha bye, or is that bye as well? I don't fucking aloha. know. Aloha. Bye, huh? All right, boys. Well, it's the morning now. We got up at 6 to watch the sunrise. And I'll tell you what. What do you guys think? Best layover ever? This was super cool. Like, we got this nice hotel. It's like kind of like a resort. This um, is living. No, this this is living. This is living with a layover because I always get layovers and they're always like so bad. Like one time in LA, I had to sleep on the airport floor for like eight hours. It was in the middle of the night. Nothing was open. It was it was terrible. So this time we really planned out the layovers and um, this one worked out perfect. We had fireworks and everything. It's really stunning here. It's so nice. I know. Like I've been to Hawaii once, but it was like a three hour layover. So I had to stay in the airport. But Hawaii, absolutely beautiful. Awesome. Make it look like it's the 90s. Look like it's the 90s? Yeah, go for 90s wise. From the future. No, you can't show iPhones. It breaks the immersion. <laughs> it's 8.30 right now. We have to leave the hotel by 10 a.m. And I'm really trying to paddleboard. Like, really bad. <laughs> so I'm hoping that. Seems like someone's got here. They open at 9, but they don't let me take it early. Here on the deserted island, <laughs> we found out. Paddleboard services aren't available till 9 o'clock. He's telling you to fuck off. He told me to fuck off. I feel like if we were in Australia, they'd be like, go on, good cunt. Hop in the river, get the fucking board, yeah. give me my fucking money. <laughs> you fuck off, guy. Leave your wallet and go on. Yeah. Have fun. I don't you... think we should be saying that. Oh, <laughs> uh, we got Why not? New Zealand rights. Yeah. We don't got YouTube rights. No. <laughs> I'm gonna try to check in now, because I'm gonna push, I'm gonna push the limits. Push the boundaries. That's what I do. I'm a boundary pusher. We're missing the flight. You should never. <laughs> <laughs> In all survival situations, you should never push the boundaries. I kind of. I don't know how voice. we're going to survive. Can you do that voice from now on? I kinda Only like in Hawaii. <laughs> what? That is not Hawaiian That's voice. It's Australian. No. no. We're, it's like we're an outback Australian voice. It's Survivor. I love that. Been watching a lot of Survivor. Have you? Yeah, but here on the deserted island of Wakaiki. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, I don't know where our next meal will come from. <laughs> Energy is scarce. Dude, you gotta do a challenge that you have to catch a fish, cut it open, and cook it. Dude, I don't want to touch no fish. Well, that's, I just made it up. That's gonna be a challenge. That's going to be yeah, a video. Give me a fishing 100%. rod. Give me a fishing Calvin's rod. gonna teach you. I know how to fish. I did that shit with my Yeah, uncle. but you don't know how to unhook. I did that shit with unk. With unk. <laughs> 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 with unk. <laughs> Have you actually yeah. fished with your unk? With my unk in Poland on a little lake. Is there fish in Poland? Yeah, he has his own <laughs> oh lake. Oh my god. <laughs> what is stupid It's place. always cold there. Yeah, no, he's got his own lake. He put his own bass in there and then he throws them back. Oh, <laughs> oh so he fed the lake. He built the lake. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh god. <laughs> you may swim on the lake, but my daddy. Owns a lake. Built a lake. So Built a lake. Fishing pond, you gotta build a lake. <laughs> you, no. Is that what you're saying? No, it's if you want to be bougie as fuck and not leave your backyard. I didn't know you were like that. Hey man, my dad, my uncle's got a steamboat from the nine, from the early 1900s in Poland. He makes straws for Sounds McDonald's. Like your uncle's pretty cool. Straws dude. for McDonald's. Yeah, that's how we how we made his money. He supplies so all the straws. we discovered anyway that um, I'm no longer the diva of the group. It is it's now David. David. It's David. David's a huge diva. Yeah. He showers at night and in the morning. And once first What a fucking rides. diva. He's fucking clean. I like to be clean. I like, no, no. It's I like, just I like, to, I like to be clean when I get into bed. And then I wake up in the morning and shower to wake me up, you know? 
That's what I do. He wouldn't share a bed with Matt. No. Or Matt no, 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 no. I wouldn't share. I wouldn't share a twin bed with Matt. Double bed. Matt's, double bed. That's the size of the double bed. And I'm a little dude. He rolls over on that's me. That's fucked up, man. It's a wrap. I'm done. He's been calling Matt fat for the past I day. I want and everyone. I want everyone to go to <laughs> at David Lamb the video and insult him. Snoring on the airplane. So to show these dude, people. you right. snored on the plane. There was like ten people around just laughing. <laughs> it was and so then funny. This dude is trying to read a book next to Matt. And then Matt's hot breath like. <laughs> my hot breath. <laughs> <laughs> that guy is just uh, looking at him like he wants to commit suicide. All right, man. I want to go back to fucking Survivor Island. <laughs> let's get some. Let's get some fucking crew interviews. <laughs> How do you feel surviving on the island all alone in this deserted island? <laughs> I feel. I feel pretty. Um... Scared, to be honest. Are you worried about the challenges that you have to overcome? Get the fuck out the interview. I'm, I'm worried about. Mean, I'm, I'm worried. I'm worried about David. Yeah. yeah. David is the weakest link of he the survival. He is a diva. You may be having to drag his fucking corpse out of here. My, my, my biggest worry is where I'm gonna find my next shower. This is not your <laughs> interview. <laughs> Once I figure that out, I'll figure out a place to eat. Maybe uh, where to sleep after well, that. Well, Chris but. is actually going to catch some fish on the pedal board to feed us, so oh, it should right. be good. My yeah. biggest worry is getting out in the ocean and getting um, food for the family. Yeah. Real. I'm going to go catch a shark. I like your caring and provider instincts. <laughs> Here when we're stranded, it's good to have you. Yeah. I got to take care of this guy. And He's great. But He's I do think <laughs> I love him death. David could potentially climb this tree. And get some coconuts. There. No, There's no coconuts. See. No, I, I can't even make it down. I can make it up. Shit, we got to scan passports to sign in. That uh, sucks. All right. Oh, it just got serious. <laughs> <laughs> it got pretty serious. We just got upgraded in budget for the Survivor TV show. We are now naked and afraid. <laughs> <laughs> I'm thinking about it. I don't know why I wore sweatpants. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah. All right. We got only Patreon. pants starting right now. Patreon. <laughs> <laughs> We go, we I go. just understood what I said the there. Boat. We're going to the tuggy boat. All the way out. Chris is going to go try to survive and catch us some fish by joining the tuggy boat. Natural habitat. He heard <laughs> there's good protein in He's semen. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's only like 0.3 of a gram. Point. So one. if you swallow one load, it's one gram of protein. Three loads is one gram of protein. So everybody has seen um, Chris's dick this morning from the hotel room. Well, I'm not scared. I just if I gotta change he my opens beans. the curtains up of the room. <laughs> Felt like Danny Duncan this morning. What can I say? Ooh. They couldn't see it. Why? No one had. A, no one had. They didn't have the dad cam with the 70 times zoom. What the hell is that, dude? Zoom in on that. What? Is that just like a bunch of people together, or is Where? that one boat that they're all sailing? I can't. Hold on. Whoa. You see how long that boat is, or is that a bunch? Is it kayak? I don't know. Oh, no, it's, it's like a fucking road. Team. Yeah, it's the road team. That's sick. I want to do that. They're competing in a fucking I race. I cool. How can we get on one? I'll do that. What the fuck? I just wish you guys, like, I'm the only guy going paddle boarding. <laughs> <laughs> fucking. Yeah. I didn't ask you guys to not have beach themed outfits. Sorry. We were matching last night. We could have done it last night. You didn't want to. You wanted to go watch the sunset. No, you actually wanted to watch the sunset. We took a really cute picture together. We did. We'll it put it up right really now. <laughs> what would you do if I came back with like a fucking swordfish? In your fucking hands? I stabbed you. Know? <laughs> <laughs> Use it as a weapon. As you can see, the crew is suffering from severe sunburn. <laughs> David just naturally red. <laughs> red. His hands are red. <laughs> the dangers aren't just visible. But invisible. Unfortunately, this will not be a day of success. No. We waited in line for the paddle boards. It's only for the lagoon. Who the hell wants the paddle board in the yeah. lagoon? You can touch in the middle. You will not be able to catch a fish enough to sustain to, the group. Yeah, I was trying to catch fish a fish for the fam. Get in, boy. We need guppies for Matt's nose. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah. Look at this fucking it, it demon. Even, this doesn't even do it justice. Look at this demon. No, I, I have more. I'm Honestly, sorry. that's making me... <laughs> <laughs> we gotta, that's making me a little nervous. We I think we have like eight more after that. Sex is a freeze. Both. Uh, yeah. Surprise guess. Dude, look at who showed up. You can tell by the voice. 
<laughs> Good timing. So Zach, um, his flight got canceled to Taranga. That's how you yeah, say it. Yeah, Taranga. Ta oh, I can't say it. Taranga. <laughs> Taranga. <laughs> Taranga. Taranga. But um, yeah. So Zach was working in Australia, and he went to go fly home, but it got canceled. So he's gonna what? You coming in the van? Yeah, yeah, we're coming. Hell in the van. yeah, dude. No, not, not with Cal and the the truck. Yep. <laughs> got on the, the truck. The truck. <laughs> Get some colors. But the truck. Anyways, guys, this is the end of the video. I'm absolutely shot, and Calvin is bringing my van here, so I have to somehow drive two and a half hours, but we're gonna figure that out together. We'll see you guys in the next one. We're gonna explain why the hell we're here and what the hell we're doing, and um, I think it's gonna be great. So with that being said, see you guys in the next one, and peace out. <laughs>